Docker is a great command line tool. For most use cases, using the command line or the API that Docker provides is sufficient to build and manage containers and images. Mac users have another option for using Docker, and that is through the desktop user interface called Kitematic. Kitematic allows users to run and manage containers from public and private Docker image repos. Let's try it out. Kitematic allows you to log in using your Docker Hub credentials. This allows you to view, pull, and run images from public and private image repositories. I'll log in with my Docker Hub credentials now. The main screen in Kitematic shows us the top recommended official Docker images available. Any image hosted on Docker Hub is available to you, including private images that you have access to. Even the Hello O'Reilly image that we used earlier in this course is available. We can see that all of my images from this course are easily searchable. Let's try launching a container. I'll launch the Hello World Nginx container, which runs Nginx to demonstrate Kitematic features. We can launch a container by clicking the Create button. This will pull and run the container. Once our container is running, we can see our container logs in the center panel on the window. And over here, we see another handy feature, which is the web preview window, which shows us the root HTML page for the container, if one exists. We can see the container configuration by clicking Settings. On the General tab, we see the container name, a form for environment variables, and a button to delete the container. We can also see the ports exposed and mapped by our container on the Ports tab. Kitematic will automatically map all exposed ports to the Docker host. We can also edit the ports on this page, which will restart the container with the new mapped ports. Let's change the port to 9999. Now, we can check out our application in a browser. This simple HTML page is served up from Nginx running inside the container. We can also view and edit the volumes mounted on the container. We see that a single directory is already mounted for this container. On the home screen, we can click on the mount to open it in the finder. We can even edit the HTML file served up by Nginx locally. We just changed the index page text to say, Hello O'Reilly. We can now click the Browser button in the web preview to launch the index page in a browser to see our changes. Looks like the volume functionality works great. At the top of the user interface, we can stop and restart our container. And these functions work the same as their command line counterparts. Another nice feature is the exec button, which allows us to shell into the running container. This is the same as using docker exec on the command line to start an interactive shell into a container. We're now inside the running container. Kitematic is a useful tool for casual docker use. I find it to be useful to simply try out new technologies such as databases. It's extremely helpful to have the simple search mechanism on the desktop. You gain the ease of use and convenience of a user interface at the cost of being able to represent your infrastructure as code.